Mark Twain once said, Supposing is good, but finding out is better. A pleasant day to everyone. I am Mary Yosemite Ramos, and along with me are my groupmates, Lara Isabella Munerva, Matthew Otero, Eleanor Spindon, and Polly Vigilantes. We are the Group 3B, presenting our nursing research entitled, Student Nurses Level of Perception in Learning, Learning, a Community Health Nursing in Clinical Education. With the shift of flexible learning during the COVID-19 pandemic, nursing as a skill-based course has been significantly influenced by this mode of education. Community Health Nursing, or CHN, is one subject that relies primarily on clinical exposure. Due to the restriction guidelines, CHN is greatly affected by the discontinued clinical education. Hence, nursing educators incorporated scenario-based learning or SPL to student nurses to learn and apply concepts despite the third barriers in teaching. In this approach, it uses real-life scenarios to bridge the gap in theory and practice. However, current literature regarding SPL are geared towards additional acute care settings and roles of a nurse clinician. Therefore, the purpose of this study is to determine the learner's level of perception towards SPL in CHN to know how to enhance the pedagogical approaches in attaining the course outcome. For the research design, this study employed a in research design according to the data it pursues. The researchers utilize the descriptive research design according to the study's primary objective, which was to determine the student's level of perception towards higher based learning of community health nursing in clinical education. For the participants, the researchers target population was the level 3 and level 4 nursing students of DSLS exposed to the subject of CHN, from which the sample size was obtained using Rossoff calculator. Then, the calculated sample was subjected to stratified random sampling to obtain the participant's perception in each year level. The research instrument in this study, a researcher made questionnaire was created, and this was given as an online survey through Google Form. This questionnaire is divided into two parts. Part 1, Demographic Profile, and Part 2, Perception Towards Scenario-Based Learning. In terms of validity, the questionnaire was deemed excellent, rating a 4.57 in a Good and Skates Validation Rating Scale, and it was also indicated as reliable in a Convex Alpha Test, scoring a 0.947. So in discussion, we first have the participant's profile. In terms of age, 60.1% comprise participants aged 21 years and below, and 59.9% include participants aged 22 years and above. As for the sex, 25% of the participants were female student nurses and 25% were male student nurses. And lastly, in terms of year level, 60.1% were 30 student nurses and 39.9% were 40 student nurses, a total of 100% for each variable mentioned. As for the perception of student nurses towards scenario-based learning of community health nursing, the results indicate that students respond to scenario-based learning as positive since the responses ranges from good to very good in all categories. Since CHN is one of the skill-based subjects emphasizing on real-life situations that the clients are experiencing, having positive responses toward SBL and the even a virtual setting, the participants were able to learn, expand their knowledge, and in extent, hone their skills. Meanwhile, there was no significant relationship between the perception towards an RB student of community health nursing and clinical education in terms of clinical knowledge and reasoning and age, sex, and year level. This implies the lack of relationship between the demographic variables and clinical knowledge and reasoning. The participants were able to learn and garner higher thinking skills. Now, in terms of self-directed learning and the variables age, sex, and year level, the results indicated no significant relationship, thus implying that participants were still able to acquire knowledge based on their positive responses in the survey questionnaire. Hence, SBL is able to harness and teach students to learn on their own based on the given resources and materials available to them. The relationship between the perception towards scenario-based learning of community health nursing and clinical education in terms of collaborative work and the given variables. On the other hand, there was no significant relationship between the perception towards scenario-based learning of community health nursing and clinical education in terms of collaborative work and age and year level. This implies that the aforementioned variables are not relevant in establishing teamwork and collaboration. However, there is a significant relationship between collaborative work and sex. Implying a better feedback in the female sex. Similarly, the study is supported by Kruger et al., where they indicated that among the nursing and medical students who participated in the study, females excelled in teamwork compared to males. Relationship between the perception towards scenario-based learning of community health nursing and clinical education in terms of attitude during discussion and the given variables. Students' attitude during discussion has no relationship of their age, sex, or year level. However, participants were able to gain positive outcomes toward SBL in online learning since students participated during their CHN classes. This, in turn, hones their self-confidence as well as their competence in performing during their online classes. As for the conclusion, the data revealed that most of the participants 
per female. In general, the student nurses showed a positive feedback and the integration of scenario-based learning in community, health nursing, and clinical education. Furthermore, there was no significant relationship between the given variables and the four key areas, except for the relationship between collaborative work and sex. For the recommendations, first, for academic institutions, it may be necessary for them to construct a planned instructional process that enhances collaborative work. Second, for nursing educators, it may be necessary to undergo proper training and team building that focuses more on their teaching strategies. For student nurses, it may be vital for them to have a system briefing and debriefing when participating in collaborative works. Shown in the following slides are the references used in this research study. That ends our presentation. Thank you for listening.